Hey guys, what is up? Just no freaking way here, and today I'm coming at you with an ex episode of Just the Tip Extra, how to rotate your orbits. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now as you can see here, we start out with a fairly circular orbit, uh, varies between a couple thousand feet. I'll just mess around for a second. But uh, this is a bit about the circular orbit we're going to be going around the Earth, and as you can see, it's fairly perpendicular with the uh, current lunar orbit, and I don't focus on minimus in this video. But uh, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try try and take this perfectly horizontal orbit and make it a completely vertical orbit. And we can do that so by uh, changing the current vector of our trajectory. Now here you'll see a couple diagrams of the current trajectory of the, uh, the ship and I've drawn it out via red line. Now as you can see the current trajectory has one component to it, one horizontal component. And the red line denotes the current trajectory of the uh, orb orbit, the current velocity, one direction, one speed. Now the blue line is the orbit around the planet. Now uh, basically what you can see here is that the um, the current uh, velocity of the rocket in the single straight line is denoted by the red arrow on a tangent away from the Earth. So basically at any given instance of time, at the current given instance of time that this picture was taken, the red line is the direction of the rocket and the size of the red line, let's say, will be the representation of the magnitude. Now what you need to pay attention to at this point is the gimbal. And the gimbal is that globe in the bottom center of your screen, and the gimbal will tell you which direction you're facing, and you can use that to accurately add components to the trajectory of your rocket. And you can use this to change your orbit. 0 for north, 90 for east, 180 for south, and 270 for west. So now in order to start changing this orbit into a vertical one, what we need to do is we need to add a vertical component to our trajectory. Whereas right now we only have a horizontal component, a component where we go sideways. Now in order to uh, change the direction of the orbit, what we need to do is add a vertical component. In this case, that means point directly north and uh, start increasing our velocity. Now what you can see here is I've started to point north and uh, increase my velocity, and you can see this orbit's starting to tilt on, a, on an interesting uh, axis. Now um, what that's because is because the net addition of the two uh, ver uh, components of the trajectory, one horizontal and one smaller vertical, starts creating a diagonal trajectory, and that uh, net change is now what affects the uh, path of my orbit. Now, after a while, this is what you're going to uh, orbit is going to look like because as you uh, continually point north and uh, fire your rockets, the uh, northern component, the vertical component of your trajectory, will continually increase, and uh, the horizontal component will stay the same. So, as the two uh, components combine together, eventually you'll start having a more uh, vertical orbit, and a uh, at this point, it's very diagonal. Now finally, once you have a diagonal orbit, the last thing you need to do is cancel out the horizontal component because that, you know, as long as that's there, you're not going to be going completely vertical. Now, the way you do this is currently in the orbit I have previously showed you, we were heading around the globe to the east, so on the 90 degree mark. So in this case, in order to cancel out that trajectory, we need to point directly in the opposite direction to the west, and we need to uh, increase that magnitude. And basically what that will do is that will cancel out the uh, eastern magnitude, so we're just left with a vertical trajectory as displayed here. And finally, here's a little bit of video from uh, the vertical, uh, from the now vertical trajectory. And this is all one flight, and you can see you traveling over the poles, and it spins around really quick. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it helped you out. Uh, leave a rate, comment, sub, like, whatever you feel this video deserves. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace.